three things keep us from catching more muskies on sucker rigs and i am here to absolutely tell you guys it is not your hook sets causing the problem Hey guys, Glenn McDonald here with 54 Bust, and this is a follow-up to last week's video where we talked about, or we showed you guys our last day on the water, sucker rigging. We got five fish that day. We actually lost a few fish, but it, it put up something that we wanted to talk about, and that is, what are the common mistakes in sucker rigging, and, and how can we fix these? So there's a perception with sucker rigging that you just... Get a sucker down there and the muskie's going to come up and it's going to head hunt that sucker. The common sentiment is that a muskie will come up and it will hit that sucker by the head. And if you have hooks on the sides of the body, when you do a hook set, you're going to get that fish. And that doesn't always work. And we see it on a lot of YouTube videos. We see it on a lot of TV shows where guys miss and they think the problem is with the hook set. And I just don't think that that's the case, and it, it's not really the case for us. And once we started filming some stuff underwater, we were able to see really what was going on, and that in most cases, it wasn't a problem of the hook set. It was the most biggest problem we've seen was the placement of the hooks on your sucker. Okay, one of the opening clips there, this is the actual hook set, and I reeled down into the fish. We always try to get the fish directly under the boat. I got a pretty solid hook set. We think it's on. As it comes up, you're going to see here when I stop it right here that the muskie has the sucker by the tail. You can see the red arrow is the nose clip broke free of the sucker. And the green arrow is actually one of the hook leads got caught just behind the gilt of the sucker. That's the only thing holding onto the sucker. And... I'm going to run it ahead a little bit here, and we almost caught this fish. We run it ahead. It turns here, and right there, he actually spits the sucker out just about as Dave was going to go in for the net. That is probably the most obvious example of a muskie comes up, and it hits at the back of that sucker, and it doesn't matter how hard you set the hook if you break those hooks free of that sucker and that muskie has it at the tail you are not going to catch that muskie it doesn't matter how you set the hook or what you do that muskie just does not have hooks in his mouth no matter what so for us seeing stuff like that we started to modify how we rigged up our sucker so we put one in close to the dorsal fin up a little bit higher and then the second one, and keep it underneath the sucker, and that in turn gives it, puts it a little bit further back. I know this looks a little bit messy because I'm on a rubber bait, but now if that muskie hits further back, there's a really good chance that he is going to have a hook in his mouth, and it's upped our hooking percentages dramatically, but on top and underneath and further back, and that was just one thing that watching on video was really helpful for us and we were able to kind of see like geez these muskies are not always hitting perfect on the head and it's no wonder we're not catching these fish and it it can be discouraging when you miss three or four fish on a sucker and you think that it's your problem that you are not setting the hook enough and we see this on videos on youtube and on tv that guys get upset with people because they're not setting the hook hard enough and that's just i don't think the case in a lot of times this clip here, that fish I lost on the previous clip, come back and actually hit Dave's rod. And I don't even have a super hard hook set here. It's just a short, strong, you know, tight hook set. And this one was actually hooked really well. We got it in the net right away. The key part there for us is we wait till that fish is directly underneath the boat before we set the hook. And we always get that upward motion and always seems to drive a hook into the top corners of the mouth. For us, that seems to be the most productive way of getting a hook set. The second problem that we see is guys are using suckers that are just plain and simple, too big for the fish that they're going after. And I know up here, Eagle Lake, the guys up here, they want 18, 20, 24 inch suckers because they're going after big fish. But in a lot of times, a 40 inch fish, when it's feeding time in the fall, they're gonna hit that big sucker. It's almost impossible to have hooks in the right spot. So it's matching your harness size to your sucker size so that you have hooks placed in the right spots. I think that's key 
four catching muskies and a lot of great big fish get caught on 12 to 14 inch suckers, which is kind of the size that we prefer. The third thing is something that we see a lot of people make mistakes on. They just go to a store, they buy some harnesses and they just put them on a sucker and they think one size fits all. And a lot of guys use their wrong size harness for the size of bait that they're using. And I know these all kind of blend together, but they're little things that make a huge difference on the water. And for us, we always have different sized rigs. So this one is obviously shorter leads than this one. And this one has leads of different length. And we're able to place this on a bigger sucker and still get hooks where we want to see them. And we modify the nose hook. So instead of sliding up through the lip, I bend the eye so it's perpendicular to the hook. And I like to stick it kind of through the nose like that. And then it is free to run up and down. No problem. We don't have any issues with them coming undone when they're hooked up at the nose like that. It's just little details that will help you have success and confidence on the water. And obviously these leads are way too big for my little rubber bait here, but you get the idea. This short lead would go up at the top of the sucker and the longer lead would go down close to the bottom edge of the sucker. And that gives me a lot of coverage. Even if the musky head shots the sucker, I'm going to have two hooks behind it. If it tail bites it, I'm going to have this one hook down at the bottom of the tail. And it just, it helps my hookup percentage dramatically. And there's times when the musky does T-bone it, whether it's from the side or from the top like this. And you get a super solid hook set and you actually break the harness free of the sucker, but that sucker and that harness does not move in the muskie's mouth. It has so much clamping force and the teeth are so tight into those suckers that it doesn't look like you've really set the hook. And in this next clip, you can see we have one that's completely T-boned and it actually doesn't let go of the sucker until it hits pretty much right in the net. So this one here, it's T-boned really well. It's thrashing, but it's just not letting go of that sucker. And then just as it gets to the net, you can see it lets go. But because one of the hooks is already in the corner of its mouth, it, it just can't go anywhere. Here's another one. We get basically a good hook set. The sucker's gone at this point, and it's thrashing as we get it into the net. Those are a couple examples of fish that we get solid hook sets. One, the sucker stays with you right to the bag, and then one, the sucker comes off on the hook set. Here's another perfect T-bone of a sucker in the muskie's mouth. I'm gonna pause it right here, and you can see that the muskie actually has it from over the top of the backbone of the sucker, and because we always place one hook high up on the side of the sucker, that's probably hooked right in the corner of the mouth. And he thrashes. And this one thrashes right into the net and never does let go of that sucker the whole time. We know this one was actually hooked in the corner of the mouth, but that's a prime example of one that had he not let go, we would have got him in the bag without even having hooks in him. Hey guys, sucker rigging is so much fun. For us, it's probably our favorite time of year. We just love getting out there and it's quiet on the lakes and it's just so much fun looking at your electronics, finding the bait fish, finding the, the muskies, getting some suckers down to them. And it just can have a great day. For us, four, five, seven, eight fish days are pretty common. So we're pretty fortunate that way. If you guys haven't tried sucker rigging, Go out with somebody that's done it before that can show you some of it to get started. It is one of the easiest ways for beginners to catch their very first muskie. And check out the video right here and you're going to see Dave's girlfriend Ange catch her very first muskie ever on a sucker rig. And you can just see how excited she is. And this is what the purity of muskie is. It's that very first muskie. And I think we can all remember that time when we just, we caught that passion. So until next time, 54 Bust is out of here and we'll catch you guys out on the water later.